So I've got a question here from a, a mother, young mother, I'm raising three little kids. My email is my current, my reason for my email is my current health body state. I went to 100% fruit. Um, I've been on this mostly my fourth month, first two months, only fruit. I went to want to be successful for life, so I incorporated some corn, past potatoes. I love potatoes. Here's the problem, okay. I know I was doing it wrong because I was also taking caffeine pills and Adderall, which is legal cocaine. Yes, it is. It's fucking cocaine, pretty much. It's bullshit. I always knew it as it was, but with the kids and work, it gave me an extra boost. When I finally hardened up, like you say, and quit the bullshit pills, I was about a week, which was about a week ago, I've blown up like a balloon. I've blown up like a balloon. This person's got no beasts in one week. <laughs> I went from like bikini fitness model, boom, obese in one week, people. <laughs> I've switched over to vegan raw, I was skinny and lost tons of weight. It was awesome coming from a fasting binge life. Ah, here we go, we get some history here, we get some history. But now that I cut the pills, I devour crazy amounts of food. No, you're not devouring crazy amounts, you're devouring what is healthy and normal. You've come from a binge fasting cycle, pills, 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 to avoid eating, and now you're, now you're taking away the drugs, you're getting healthy, your eating is healthy, but your mindset says, this is a normal, this is crazy. And all the people around you because that's too much food. Four potatoes for dinner, well, that's too much, or whatever. And then Freely and Drew and I come over, and we sit down and eat fucking five or six pizzas between us, and people are like, ah! freaking out. It's not a crazy amount of food. It's a healthy, normal amount of food for adults who want to raise their kids properly, have energy to actually give their kids versus go, hey kids, here's a fucking PlayStation, fuck off. I'm going to watch the soapies and eat some fucking cinnamon donuts or whatever. To be a real parent today as well, you need a shitload of carbs. Anyone can fuck, breed, and have kids. But it takes real parents to spend time with the kids and educate them and train them, etc. And love them and give them the attention they need. But unfortunately, we don't live in the world because most parents out there go, I just want to lose some weight. I'm going to, I'm going to pop some pills and I'm going to eat and just boom. And then you, the energy you have isn't sustainable. And then when you're coming down, you're freaking out, flipping out. So my suggestion to this person is kudos for getting on the right track and getting in touch with your body's natural fatigue levels. And remember that the, the food you're eating now is not excessive. It's normal. It's during rider and freely portions. But remember, you've got three kids. We don't have three kids. We've got a little dog that sits in the corner and we take it for a walk once a day. And it's pretty low maintenance. We've got laptops and computers. But guess what? We can close them anytime we want. But when you've got kids, man, that's like... That's energy, man. That's some serious fucking energy. Three of them. Three little kids. <laughs> that's a lot of fucking work. That's a lot of carbs. So drop... Get a fucking chainsaw. An imaginary chainsaw. And fucking... <laughs> chainsaw that fucking part of your life away from you that this is too much I should feel guilty I need pills I need caffeine get rid of that part of your life and bring into the new life of giving gratitude acceptance joyfulness carving the fuck up helping other people just enjoying the moment being present versus being obsessed about a scale number or oh my god whatever that's what you have to do. Otherwise, the other option is total fucking insanity. Just look around. Just don't believe me? Look around or go back to last week or a few years ago, whatever. Play some mental records back. It's crazy. It's crazy. So you're on track. You're on track. They also said, I haven't been able to train at all because my stomach is hard like a bowling ball. It sounds like you really need to go to emergency ward. If your stomach is literally as hard... A bowling ball is fucking hard. That is fucking hard. So if your stomach is that hard, you could have some serious things going on there. I would recommend go to emergency ward today, now, and book yourself in for an inspection. If your stomach is so hard, like a bowling ball, you can't train, you have a serious medical condition, you need some inspecting. Otherwise, you're exaggerating. But I'm, 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 I'm pretending you're not exaggerating. Go to emergency ward right now. Get some attention. Get some attention, because that sounds serious, unless you're exaggerating. Um, last one is, you know, you're on track. You're on track. That's, that's pretty much your question answered. What is the weight? 
Is the weight fat or water? <laughs> well, any weight extra has got to be fat, doesn't it? <laughs> if you're a man, it's muscle. If you're a woman, it's fat. Isn't that so fucking fucked up? Don't worry about the weight. The weight is what it is. The body is, it's just healing. What is the weight, Harley? Is it fat or fluid? Who gives a fuck? What it is, it's your body healing from the shit you did to it. And you can own that. And you identify it. No worries, done it. Accept it. Keep on rolling forward. That's all we got to do. Simple as that. Keep carbon up, Bridget. Keep being the best mum you can be. The results are in the post. Forget about them because they're coming. Don't be checking the letterbox every fucking 10 minutes. Drive you insane. Just accept they're on their way. You do what you got to do right now. Be a good mum. Carb up. Have fun. Bingo.